Did you know that neurologically, tickling yourself is nearly impossible? Meet Dr. Emily, a neuroscientist who loves tickling experiments. You see, when you try to tickle yourself, your brain is already expecting the sensation. It cancels out the surprise element, so no giggles, Dr. Emily explained. The cerebellum sends predictions to the somatosensory cortex when you're the one doing the tickling, tricking your brain into ignoring it. But what if technology could change that? Meet the RoboTickler 3000, Dr. Emily said excitedly. This nifty arm will tickle you, simulating an external source, and considering you don't control it, you might just laugh. The volunteer laughs uncontrollably as the robot starts gently tickling him, the narrator observed, amused. Here's a twist. Our primitive ancestors might have used tickling as a social bonding experience. The laughter helped build social connections crucial for survival. So, by tickling, we're kind of following our ancestors' footsteps as social creatures, the volunteer said thoughtfully. Look at tickling as a reminder of the little joys life brings, Dr. Emily said warmly. And even when science says we can't tickle ourselves, we can laugh together. If this video inspired you, hit that like button, subscribe to Voito Insights, and ring that notification bell.